Well, the big one's coming up now. Rogers, Buddy Rogers and Killer Kowalski. There's a shot of Buddy Rogers. Here he comes in there in the far corner. What a match this should be. Wrestling champions from Chicago. Another one of promoter Fred Kohler's great cards. This show tonight coming from the famous Chicago Coliseum. Bob Elson here at ringside. And boy, we have seen nothing but action here tonight. There's a good shot of Kowalski. He is a claimant of the world's heavyweight title. Buddy Rogers is a claimant of the world's heavyweight title. This will be best two out of three falls. Here's Buddy Rogers right above us here. Buddy Rogers won the world's heavyweight title here in Chicago from Pat O'Connor at Comiskey Park June the 30th, 1961. This was one of Fred Kohler's cards, and they drew 38,000 fans and the largest state in wrestling history, $125,000. The contestants from Camden, New Jersey, he weighs 243 pounds. Buddy Rogers! Rogers! His opponent is from Detroit, Michigan. His weight, 275 pounds. It's Killer Kowalski! Kowalski! Two out of three balls. Well, this is it. This is the big one. You know, they wrestled. Kowalski and Rogers wrestled in Canada last year, and Kowalski broke Rogers' leg. And Fred Kohler has been trying to arrange this match ever since. So here they are on Wrestling Champions in Chicago. They're getting off to a fast start. There's the bell. The bell hadn't even rung. Now they started. Kowalski going to work on Buddy Rogers. Rogers almost out of the ring. And the referee trying to get Kowalski away. Kowalski is 6 7. Weighs 275 pounds. He's known as one of the roughest and cruelest wrestlers in the sport. So this should really be something. And this place is really in an uproar. You can hardly hear yourself think in this Coliseum right now as Kowalski and Rogers. Boy, talk about rivalry between these two fellows. It is terrific. And Fred Kohler finally matched them, and here they are in the Coliseum on Wrestling Champion. Well, so far, it's been all Kowalski. They've been at it about two minutes. And so far, it has been all Killer Kowalski. Now Rogers talking with the referee. You can understand why they're over here in that belt. Well, with this bedlam, you can understand why we're all having trouble hearing the bell. Kowalski braced Rogers' knee on the lower rope and then jumped on it. And looked like he was trying to break his leg again. That's the same leg, that left leg that he broke up in Canada.
So Killer Kowalski really setting a terrific early pace in this match with Buddy Rogers. That's two out of three falls. Rogers, a couple of right hands to the body and the head. Reverse headlock. Maybe a choke. The referee trying to get in close to see it. No holes are barred in this match. A real grudge affair between two of the great figures in wrestling. Kowalski and Rogers. Here's Rogers going down again. Oh, look at that punishment. Killer Kowalski. Well, he certainly got that left leg in mind here tonight. He's been doing nothing but working on it ever since this match started. a fast pin. Kowalski putting that pressure on that leg and had Rogers shoulders to the mat and there was a very fast pin. Now let's get into the ring announcer Dick Elliott for the time of that fall. A time of the first fall four minutes and 20 seconds. The winner of that fall with a leg pin, Killer Kowalski. Kowalski. The winner of that fall in the match between Rogers and Kowalski was Killer Kowalski. There's the bell. Here they go at it again. Kowalski and Rogers. One of the great natural matches of the year in the Coliseum in Chicago. Yes, you won't see a more exciting match than this in the year of 63. And probably one of the great matches of all time. Kowalski and Rogers in Chicago. There's a chokehold. And the referee getting in close. Telling Rogers now to break it. There's been one fall so far. Kowalski won it. And in rather fast time. Rogers shaking his head. He said that's not a choke. Buddy Rogers. And there's a. Good shot of Kowalski in trouble. All they got is. Now the referee again cautioning Roger. Got a hammer lock there on Kowalski. There's a real good shot on your screen. Rogers flying off the ropes. And boy, he was met by the killer that time. And here's Kowalski trying for the press again. No, he was 
Rodgers had a leg over the rope. Harris Kowalski working on that leg of Rodgers again. Now Rodgers got his head out, half his body out under that lower rope. The referee telling the killer to break it. Kowalski is of Polish descent. He hails from Windsor, Ontario, Canada. Stands six feet seven. Weighs 275 pounds. And boy, he is all man, all muscle. Now Rogers with a re punishing reverse headlock. Working around his throat and head while he's got him in that. Puts the choke on again. That was Kowalski with a type of judo chop. And another one. Rogers a right to the body, a right to the side of the head. Drops Kowalski to his knees. And there goes, really, there's Rogers really going down. Took that right hand to the side of the head. And again, Kowalski trying for the press. But Rogers has got his left leg, or his right leg, out over the rope. Chop, chop, chop. So Buddy Rogers has taken a lot of punishment so far in this match. There's been one fall. Kowalski has won that fall. Now Rogers staggered Kowalski coming off the ropes, and he's trying for the press, and he's got it. Well, let's get into the ring announcer, Dick Elliott, for the time on that ball. It's now one fall apiece. The time of that fall, three minutes and 40 seconds. It goes to Buddy Rogers. Well, it's a fall apiece now. There's a good shot of Buddy Rogers. One of the most colorful figures in wrestling today. So now it's a fall apiece. Kowalski, the winner of the first fall. Buddy Rogers, the winner of the second fall. And of course, the winner of the third fall will win the match. Just about everything happened to Buddy Rogers in 62. During the year, he suffered a concussion, a broken leg, and a broken nose. Buddy, by the way, is a strong enthusiast for dieting. Very, very careful about his diet. Roger stands six feet in height. He drew over a million dollars in little over two years in Chicago alone. Now the bell, and here is the third fall. Rogers and Kowalski on wrestling champion. From the Coliseum in Chicago, Bob Elson here at ringside, and Rogers flying across the ring, gets up. And started to fly off the ropes, but checked himself. And look at that Buddy Rogers strut. Buddy Rogers and Kowalski. And they take down. And they step over toehold applied by the killer. Now it's a fall apiece. This is the big one coming up. The next fall man who gets the next fall will be the winner. This is a big, big match for both these men. And Kowalski carries Rogers all the way across the ring, drapes him over the ropes there, and look at this punishment he's dealing out. Rogers slipped, came down actually on his head there on the mat. And Kowalski just keeps pounding away at that left leg of Buddy Rogers. Yeah. 
Rogers draped over the lower rope now. Well, there's a shot, a fine shot of two of the outstanding wrestlers in this sport today, Kowalski and Rogers, two of the really big names, big money makers. These fellows are in demand all over the country. Kowalski trying to drag Rogers away from the ropes, trying for a press. But he gets away. And they take turns at body slams. You got to be in shape to take this kind of pounding. Here's another one. Oh, that wouldn't feel good even on a mattress. Kowalski going up high on that rope. Watch him come off, and he misses Rogers, who gets away. Might have hurt his leg a little bit there. And Rogers trying for a press, and he's got it. Well, let's get right into the ring now to the announcer Dick Elliott. The time three minutes and seven seconds. That was a body press. The winner of the fall and the match, Buddy Rogers. Rogers. One of the most colorful wrestlers in the world today, Buddy Rogers. Not champ one of them, the most colorful. The greatest wrestling that wrestling's ever had come out of this body. I want you and everyone listening in to know one thing, that if he ever made another guy better than me, he hasn't been, made, he hasn't been made yet. The good Lord made me, he threw them all the way when it comes to the wrestling business. I've got a lot of imitators, many imitators. But there'll never be another to duplicate me. Champ, the fans have just seen you in a very tough match. How did, how did the match go? To, it, well, I'll admit it was a little rugged. But like I've always told everyone, in and out of the wrestling business, when it gets too tough for everyone else, it's just right for Buddy Rogers. That's why I'm champ today. Buddy, you've got a lot of fellows claiming this title. Well, there might be a lot of claimants, but the public knows who the real champion is. They know when they look at Rogers. They're looking at the real diamond, the greatest diamond wrestling ever had. Well, there's no doubt about it that you certainly are a fellow that's put on a great, great show in every one of your matches. And that's why you're in demand, not only in this country, but practically all over the world. Well, listen, I'll put the title on all over the world. I don't care where it's at. I want to let these people know once and for all that my motto is not to run from them. If I do any running, it'll be straight at them. Well, tonight you really put on a great show, champ, and uh, you gave the customers a fine show here in Chicago. Well, thank you, Bob, and like I've always said, if you want a real champion, you got to get Rogers to fit the bill. I wish you lots and lots of luck. And Thank uh, you, Bob, and it's a pleasure being work. with you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, champ. That was Buddy Rogers, one of the most colorful wrestlers in the world today. They winner tonight in the great match with Killer Kowalski.